Hi, this is Mike Dorr, and welcome to the short video that talks about adding an agent for their account to be included into the monthly recall track email that the buyer of the property will receive every month for the recall check reports. The first thing we want to do is log into the account. Now, we want to make sure that we're adding in the buying agent's email address through either however you're submitting, whether it's through an integration, through the phone app, or through recallcheck.com. The buying agent's email address is imperative because that's how we link the agent to whoever the client is. So as, as we start adding in the client, let's just call the client Bob, and we put in mary at kw.com, once Mary's account's created, that email address links everything together. So that is very important. I wanna make that clear right up front. Once the account goes out, just so you know, under the resource tab, the agents can add their own account themselves. I'm gonna to come to the recall check marketing section and down at the bottom of the section here, there's a couple buttons that you could add to your account um, for on, I'm sorry, that you could add to your website for agents to click on the accounts to create their, their free marketing account to be included. However, I wanna point out that this green logo here will actually be in the email that the agent receives with the recall check report and able to sign up for their free account themselves at any time. So they can do this. The other way is for us to add an agent ourselves. And this is very easy to do as well. The first thing we wanna do is come up to the top and under Manage Agents, we wanna first search the, uh, uh, the agents to see if there's the agent currently in our account. So we're gonna search for a, a last name of an agent of Smith, and we can easily see that there's zero agents. So now we can come in and add agent. Once we add in the agent's account, we can easily put all this information in. So the first name is Mary. Last name is Smith. Company name, she's Keller Williams. Uh, phone number for the office or hers. And the email address, we'll just say it's msmith at kw.com. Oops. And also the office address for her, 123 Main Street, for example. Uh, when we put in the zip code or postal code, it'll pre fill the city and the state for you. And then also a website whatever it may be. Now, setting up a username and a password is, is something that's required and it's very easy to do. What I always recommend is just copying the email address, because that's always gonna be unique, and just pasting that into the username field. Now, the password, you can set this up to whatever you'd like. Maybe you set it up as M. Smith. Um, if it's me and I own a company possibly named Mountain Inspections, for example, I might make my password Mountain. It does need to be four characters long, but whatever you do, set up the username and passwords the same way for all of your agents. If you, because if you ever get in a call from an agent and you're on the road, you're on a roof, you're you're at an inspection or anywhere else other than your computer, you'll easily know what that is. Hey, Marianne, your username is your email address. Your password is Mountain. So set that up to be the same thing every time. Again, it does need to be at least four characters long. Once we set that up, we can begin registration. And like everything else, we wanna just make sure we see the confirmation number up at the top. You don't need to write it down, but that just means that everything did go through. Once we've added the agent's account, we can take the next step if you'd like to do this, and we can come into search agents, and we're gonna smirt up. We've already searched by Smith, so here's Mary's account. We can easily come in here to manage, and we can also send a quick email to her. So agent sign up template. So here's a quick email that we could literally copy and paste this whole thing. And it has the inspector name down at the bottom. Um, and this has all her information, notice, to log into the account with the link, her username, her password for the account. And this message just say to log in and make sure all of your information is 100% complete. And then you can add your picture and your company logo yourself. But if we wanna take that extra step to do that, we can easily do a Google search and find the picture of the agent that's very easy to do these days, or even a picture from their Facebook site. Um, and once we search them and manage, we can manage their logos as well. So once we manage the logo, we can add theirs. 
So I'm just gonna choose file off of my computer that I've saved. Oh, there's the picture for Mary. I'm gonna open that. And then I'm gonna update the logo. There's Mary's picture. We can easily add the Keller Williams logo as well, doing the same thing. And there's my logo for Keller Williams and open. And then we add and update the logo again. At this point, Mary doesn't need to do anything else other than just referring all of her buyers to you. You perform the inspection. Again, you do the recall check and you list Mary's email address as the buying agent. And every time that client receives their monthly email, the agent will then be at the top of the email automatically for life for referring the right inspection company. And real quickly, let me show you where that's at. Um, again, I went to manage agents, searched, and you can preview the email that goes out to Mary's clients every month. And there's Mary's picture, her contact information, and her logo at the top of the recall track email every month for being a client of yours. Thank you for watching this short tutorial. If you have any questions over this, do not hesitate to call us. Our phone number is at the top right hand corner of the website. You can reach us at 800 544 8156 and ask for Tim. Brandon, myself, anybody that you might have questions regarding the agents for the recall track emails.